And hello and welcome to the June 5th edition of the Falcon Flyby. Um, as always, I'm your host, Doc, and we are here to go over some amazing things happening around the area. First and always, want a big shout out to our sponsors, Multi Mole Guns up in Michigan. So a big shout out to them. Be sure to check them out at multiguns.com, or I'm sorry, multimoldguns.com. And be sure to check out their website. They do everything from the uh, Weave Pattern Kydex to the Kydex wallets that I've shown in recent or in previous episodes, um, as well as check them out for any of your Kydex need. They do have just about everything you need. And if you're in that need for that special mold gun, be sure to give them a holler and I'm sure they can help you out. So again, multimoldguns.com. We will have them listed in the um, description area of the video when we go up on YouTube. Also, we want to give a spot, uh, shout out to Gray Wolf Tactical Combat out of Florida. They are an airsoft shop, tactical training shop, um, and they have just come on uh, last week with us and just want to give a big shout out to them as well. So Gray Wolf Tactical Combat, they're out of Florida. Be sure to check them on Facebook and give their page a like, and that's Gray Wolf, G-R-A-Y, Tactical Combat, I'm sorry, Gray Wolf Tactical Combat, again, on Facebook. So, now that we got all the needed stuff out of the way, let's talk about some of the airsoft events going on in the area here. Um, coming up here on June 10th, so next weekend, for everybody that lives up north, northeast, uh, we at Robin Hood Paintball, we have night ops being put on by East Coast Airsoft and Robin Hood Paintball. It starts at 6 p.m. on the 10th. Uh, cost is $25. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of sponsors involved. Uh, Falcon Kydex Tech is uh, going to be sending a couple of our player pack certificates up there to them so that way they have it. It's at Har D. Grace, Maryland is where this is located at for Robin Hood Paintball. So be sure to check them out. Uh, you can look this event up right on Facebook. So it's a great thing I like about Facebook. It helps keep all our events right there. Um, and then coming up on June 11th. Right here in our own backyard in Georgia, we have uh, at the Old Frontier Airsoft Field, they're having a skirmish game, uh, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., so good time to head on out there and check that out. They always put on a good show out there. It's an evolving field. They're always building new stuff and uh, getting that field up and running and want to make it one of the premier fields to be at and play at and host your event at. Um, so June 11th at... 8 a.m. the field will open and they're going to 6 p.m. The cost is $10. It's player choice, so you guys decide what games we play while we're out there. So be sure to hit that one up. And again, you can search the Old Frontier Airsoft on Facebook. Make sure you give their page a like and check out their events. Uh, then we come down here on July 2nd. We're back out there in Thompson, Georgia again at the Old Frontier Airsoft. They have an airsoft event going on, and this is Operation Flying Eagle. Uh, Gray Wolf uh, Tactical Combat will be out there as long as Falcon Kydex Tech will be out there as well doing holsters, mag pouches, things of that nature. Um, and this is a going to be an all-day event. Um, get online, search for the event. Like I said, you put in Operation Flying Eagle at the old air, uh, old foundry or old Frontier Airsoft, and uh, you'll be able to see all the events they have planned. Uh, the cost is $35, but if you pre-reg, you save $10, it's $25. Bucks. They're going to be opening the gate on Friday, so you'll be able to camp overnight, hang out with uh, the guys from uh, Grey Wolf as well as FKT. We'll be out there early on Friday as well, so you can uh, stop on in and see us. So we're definitely looking forward to this game. I love going out to that field. It's a great field, very, uh, very diverse. Um, great action for CQC in some fields and other action is it's long range in the woods or long range open areas. So great for those snipers that can dig in and stuff. So definitely be sure to check that out. Uh, let me refresh my page here so I can see the broadcast. So if you guys are asking any questions or putting comments up, I am able to see what is going on. Let me pop open all discussions here. There we go. So if you guys have any questions, I'll be able to see them as they pop up. Um, again, then we uh, we go out to, um, looking at my notes here, we're going to head out to High Ground Airsoft in Spring, Texas for the Airsoft Summer Palooza 2016. This is on July 16th. 
uh, from noon until 11 p.m. That's Central Daylight Time. So any of those guys that like to go out there, um, head out that way and experience something different, go ahead. They do have a swap meet going on that same day as well. The cost is $25. That's for all day play and it gets you into the swap meet as well. You can um, search for this as, this event as well on Facebook. Just type in Air, Airsoft Summer Palooza 2016. And like I said, this is at High Ground Airsoft. So you can also probably search High Ground Airsoft and get more information on their links as well. And then coming up on August 19th, is Operation Black Dagger at the Old Frontier. We're going back, we're gonna be in our backyard here. We're gonna have a great time. This is a full weekend Milsom event, uh, August 19th through the 21st. We'll be out and we'll start the event on the um, 20th at 10 p.m. or 10 a.m., I'm sorry, and we will not end that until around midnight that night. We'll pick right back up first thing, nine o'clock in the morning. So um, definitely, definitely, um, Get yourself signed up and ready for that event. We still have uh, plenty of spots open. Um, your CO and XOs have already been uh, decided. So uh, that's pretty cool. We have uh, um, P90 Girl and Justin, if I pronounce his name wrong, which I probably will, I think it's Mager. He's from Third Coast Airsoft and Airsoft Junkies. Um, they, they will be your CO and XO for, I believe, I'll have to look again. Um, but I, they are one set of CO and XO, so they're homegrown right here in Georgia. And then we also have BB from BB Tactical and the Airsoft AK Assassin. Uh, Airsoft has me coming from California in the Pacific Northwest to come on out here and be the CO for the green team. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Yes, P90 Girl and Justin are the CO and XO for the TAN team. So definitely come out. Uh, we got people signing up so far, as far out as New York right now. And again, your CO and XO for your green team are coming all the way from the Pacific Northwest and California. So definitely want to get uh, in on this game. $50 for registration all weekend long. Get your raffle ticket into the raffle as long as your, as well as the event patch and a bag of uh, 0.25 um, grand BBs. So we're really excited about this event. A lot of hard work being put into it and into the field to get it up and ready to roll this event a lot of objectives you guys are going to be tired after this event is over this is not um, this is not going to be a slow style game it's going to be very fast paced the objectives are going to be coming at you the missions are going to be coming at you and you're just going to have a great time um, also one thing we do want to announce about that we're really we're really excited and if for you guys that follow the community page and the actual event posting as well airsoft junkies just signed on um, for one of the sponsors for our event, they'll be out there vending as well. So we're going to have two airsoft vendors out there, um, which is going to be really, really awesome. And yes, I talked to the other airsoft vendor and he was awesome. Um, and that is Grey Wolf Tactical as well. And uh, so we're going to have both them out there vending and donating for the event. And Airsoft Junkies is going to ha be raffling two passes, um, two tickets for Operation Serious Viking that happens in September. So for you guys that are looking, you know, for a chance to win free entry into that event, Third Coast puts on some really good events and uh, you definitely don't want to miss out on that. So definitely sign up for this event, get become part of it. We're wanting to make this event a yearly event. We want to take this event and push this field to its limits. Um, so that way we know what this field can handle and what it can't. This field has never truly been tested. So we really want to push it to its limits and definitely see what we can do. So Operation Black Dagger, August 19th through the 21st, out at the Old Frontier Airsoft Field. Yes, there's gonna be camping. Yes, there's gonna be, it's gonna be a totally badass time. There's no other way to put it. It's just going to be an amazing time. Um, so definitely wanna check that out. You can search for Operation Black Dagger. We do have secret pages that are set up for our team. So once you, uh, you're signed up and paid, you get on that. It's a planning form. You see all the rules, you see your mission objectives. You can talk to your XO and CO. You can start setting up your squad. So this is the time to get involved right now and get your squad set up. So if you got a whole team that wants to come and be part of this, you sign up, you let me know, say, hey, look, we're all on the same side. You know, we're all friends. We all play together. We're this team. When I move you over there, I'll just put a note out to your CO saying, hey, keep these guys together. They're all part of one team. So definitely sign up for this event. You guys will not be sorry for this event. Trust me. It's going to be a great time. So... Like we did last week, I talked about uh, 
some of the IPDA shoots going around the area for real steel. So like I said, we want to make the Falcon flyby, you know, stuff for Airsoft and stuff for the real steel guys. So uh, I'm going down my list from last meeting because as of this time, they really haven't added anything new into for uh, uh, GA TAC here in Georgia. So um, one of the things they have coming up is June 18th, they have their urban security driving and counter carjacking. Um, hey, Gabby's on there. Hello to Gabby. Um, so definitely that, I mean, with the way things are nowadays, I can tell you right now, this would probably be a great course to take. Um, oh, you're never late. We're always here. Um, this is going to be held at the 17th South uh, Rod and Gun Club. Uh, the cost is $200 for this class, and it's from 8.30 to 4.30, so it's an all-day event. If you, have, if you need more information, head over to uh, GTAC. You can, look up, you can find them on Facebook, and you can um, also get information from them as well. Lance Grooms is one of the instructors, so if you need information, you can probably look him up on Facebook as well and send him a message, and he would help you or direct you where you need to go to get more information. So June 18th for that one. Uh, then June 25th, they have a concealed carry fundamentals um, course going on. Again, GTAC's putting this on, same location at the 17th South uh, Rod and Gun Club. June 25th, this is a $200 course as well. So uh, be sure to check that out. You know, we all get our concealed carry permits, or our weapons permits. And if you're not practicing, you're, you know, having that card, you might as well use it as Tinder for a fireplace, to be honest with you. Um, just because you have it doesn't mean you're setting your skills. And, you know, you hear stories about people that they carry, you know, conceal, they just got their car and they end up shooting themselves in the leg or, you know, something stupid because they're not training. Just because you have that car doesn't mean you have the training necessary to go along with it to make you more proficient as a concealed carry. Uh, so definitely check this stuff out and see what they can do for you. So GTAC on Facebook, you can look them up and check them out. So we had something pretty cool come in. Um, this weekend and we're starting to right now we're doing um, the battle box you know I've, I've seen them I've seen people do their videos online and I've seen some of the gear that comes home and I've read online looked at their different packages and so in that there we go we're back okay so here at FKT we got our first box in and at first I was like well let's see it's pretty light you know just judging but then I open up this box and right here it is this is this is the basic um, membership. So I think it's like 20 bucks a month. This is the basic one right here. Uh, they go all the way up to what's called a Pro Plus, where in that Pro Plus you're getting like a really high-end quality knife of some type. Um, some of them, I think the high-end includes like the sleep or the tent or sleeping bag as well. I mean, a lot of good stuff comes in these. So this is the very first time that we have gotten one. Ta-da! And people were asking for pictures, and so I'm just gonna go through here and talk a little bit about what came in the box. And one of the first items is called a fire sleeve. And what you do is you get your big classic lighter and you put it in this case, and it helps keep it dry, keep your flint from getting wet. It also has a thing where we know now with these lighters, they have that little thing that in order to flick it, you gotta push in a lock or something. This will actually hold that in for you so it makes it easier to light. And this is by a company called Exotac. Uh, it is made here in the USA, so hey, an, a great made in America product. Um, and it was part of the box. And so I'm actually looking forward to, you know, finding a spot in my hiking or my camping or my go bag for this particular item. So. Um, I actually, I actually think this holds a need for just about anybody out there. I mean, a lot of us probably carry that emergency fire starter kit and this is just one more thing that's just cool to have. So the next thing they sent in this is a, from Zippo Outdoor, it's a cedar fire starter. And again, how can you go wrong with one of these? You're going camping, you got some damp wood. What a better way to get this fire started than using something like this. And what's great about it is you can break it into quarters so you're not using it all at one time. Um, not a bad smell. I mean, it's wrapped in plastic still, obviously. 
and uh, not bad overall. I mean, a good little piece if you're going camping. Um, not bad to have, especially if you're camping maybe during the uh, fall time or the winter time, especially up north in Michigan. We do know in the fall time we get more rain, you get that snow, the wood's a little wet. Might be hard to get that dry stuff or that small stuff started. Not bad to have something like that. The sport knife spoon combo. Cannot go wrong with something like this in your kit. Um, especially if you're camping and you know you don't want to bring multiple items what a better way to do this than with a particular item there we go now i can see everybody um a particular item that actually has all three of your utensils fork and knife on this side right here you see the little serrated edge and then obviously your camping spoon not a bad idea not a bad little piece of hardware and then we also got in this box Murphy's Mosquito Sticks. Now I have not opened these yet, um, but I can tell you the active ingredients are citronella oil, lemongrass oil, and rosemary oil, and sawdust and bamboo sawdust, which makes up 90% of this. It's an all natural mosquito repellent and it's 100% natural and DEET free. So for those people that don't like dealing with DEET, because yes, it can cause cancer. If it's used in high enough quantities and used frequently enough, it can cause skin cancer. That's, it's known. I mean, for us guys that have served in the military, I think we all remember Chigaway, which I believe was pretty close to 100% DEET. Um, and there was some other stuff out there that, um, some spray stuff that was even 100% DEET that, yeah, if you sprayed it on your skin, you could actually feel it burn you, so. Um, so I will actually open this up and use one of these to see what they're like, and I will do a full. If all else fails, burn cow patties. Huh, learn something new every day. So I'm gonna go, um, next time I'm outside, I'm gonna open this up and use one of the products that feels like there's a couple in here. So I'll go ahead and use this and I'll do a live, quick live feed video and just show you what it's all about. But again, good for camping or in your back, if you're backpacking. Why not? The next thing they sent us is called Mini Infernos All Weather Fire. Um, these are by Pathfinder Research School, LLC.com. And uh, again, it's another American made product. And I believe, no, I'm showing some of the stuff ahead of time. No. Yeah, Self Reliance Outfitters, Division of the Pathfinder School, LLC. And what was cool too is they also sent a 20% off ticket and coupon in the box for a coupon code. Um, I haven't had a chance to go to the website yet, but it's called selfreliantsoutfitters.com. And uh, definitely check them out. So inside here are these little orange pads like this. And if you read the instructions, which, you know, no offense to them, obviously, but you need a magnifying glass to be able to see that tiny writing on the back sometimes. But it recommends to use one, but in really, really wet situations, they recommend you light one and then you put the whole thing in here and you slide it under your small stuff. So uh, I'm going to go online and see what this, what this little package probably costs. Um, but then again, if, if you're backpacking, again, small, compact. I think I want to say there's probably five or six pads in here. They're actually individuals. Um, but again, you have several in here. So that's, that's good. And then the other thing they sent, sent, which was really cool, um, yep, skin so soft. If you can find an Avon distributor in your neighborhood, hook them up because that stuff does work. My mom used to sell it when I was growing up and she used to lather us in that stuff. And while the rest of my friends were getting bit by every bug in the county, I was out there like, I don't know what you're talking about. So. And they also sent us called these Speed Cinch Steaks. And I'm looking forward to actually using these. But what's really cool is once you get it in the ground, we all know tents or tarps or whatever not have rope on the end of them, those nice little tie downs. You're able to take them, come around the corner with them, and then feed them up on the top so they don't slip. You're not having to drag them real, real far out anymore because here's the, here's the tent stake right here, and you can use this. So instead of fiddling around with those little slip knots they put on tents nowadays, 
you have this. It's actually a pretty ingenious design. I, I like it. The only problem I see with it is if you actually miss with the mallet and hit one of the ends, you would actually break one of the ends off. But um, I'm I'm actually pretty pretty curious to see how well it works. So the next time I'm out, uh, you might see these um, on the outside of my pop up holding the rope secure instead of using the crappy little metal ones that they give you. So in my first battle box or my first yeah battle box. I got a good a good selection of stuff here. Um, they list the pricing, which was really cool. They send you a card, and it kind of gives you an idea of what the pricing was. So, the basic cost for my box was uh, they say twenty four ninety nine, but then you start looking at the MSRP's here on some of the stuff, and like the cinch stakes for a set of four were fourteen dollars. The Murphy's mosquito sticks uh, pack was six dollars. The Exotac fire sleeve the, was uh, 15 bucks. The Zippo campfire starter was $2. And the Light My Fire camp uh, spork was $3. And then the Self um, Reliance Outfitters Mini Inferno was $8. And it comes to a value of around $48. So for 25 bucks, I got almost 100% value return on what I paid to get this. Um, what was really cool too is as soon as I ordered this through BattleBox, I had that I had a um, <laughs> BattleBox to boys is what Ipsy is is to girls. Um, they um, I had an email right away letting me know when my box was going to ship, and I was actually not supposed to get this box until June six was the supposed date for it but I actually got it on a Saturday. So that's pretty impressive for these guys. Um, and I can tell you this right now, with the stuff I got in this box, I will be upping my subscription to the next one up, which is, they call it an advance. So just to give you an idea, the, um, and this one here, because this is called, the sit rep is called Solo Camping. It's mission 1.2, 1, 1 so they give it kind of a tactical feel. And in the advance, which costs you around 50, you end up getting a uh, Sawyer um, Picardin insect repellent, which is $10, and a camp stove set for 60 bucks. So you pay 50, and the value, because you're gonna get all this on top of those other two items, and you're looking at around 118 bucks. The pro set costs 100. You're gonna get a battle box, single person tent with mosquito net and rain fly, which has an MSRP value of $200. So you spend 100, your value, because you're gonna get everything in the basic, everything in the advanced, and everything that come, that one extra item that comes with the pro, your value for your box for this one would be $318, um, $317.75. And then for the pro edition, which is $150 a month, you would get everything through those levels and you would also get a Gerber LMF 2 Infantry Survival Survival Knife, which has an MSRP of $90. So $407.70 value, so $408, and you're getting it for $150. You really can't beat this stuff. And you know, if you can't use it, if you're like, hey, I already got something like this, give it to a buddy, donate it, you know, or you know, one thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna um, go out and get a Max Expedition a gear slinger bag and the stuff that we're not gonna use, we're gonna put in that bag so it makes it a more appeasing value to whoever is to win that raffle. So, um, uh-oh, my wife's making deals on the meeting. I see it going on right now with Gabby. So, so anyways, not bad either. You know, you know more information for those speed uh, cinch stakes came in. It even tells you how to use them and it gives you the website and what's really cool Marcellus Michigan so they're based in the same state that multi-mold guns is and guns are and part of my family lives up in Michigan that's awesome so to see something like this come out you know one is made in America it's another it's a veteran owned company so that's awesome as well so there's a vet who saw the crappy tent stakes that they gave us and how horrible it was to cinch this stuff down and took it and went one step further and said there's an easier way to do this and a better way to do this. Um, and again, uh, being in Michigan, that's, that's awesome. That's, that's really cool. So 
Um, definitely check these things out. These are all American made products. They're all here in the US. Um, some are veteran owned companies, so why not? Why not support them? You know, if you, if you only have, um, if, <laughs> um, if, you know, if you only have the minimum to do the 20, the $25 box, so be it. I mean, you're still going to get some great stuff in here. Like I said, this was my intro box, solo camping, um, box. And I can tell you, there's some great stuff in here. And I can tell you when I restock my next bag or build my next go bag or my camping bag, this stuff will go in here. I mean, I'll tell you, I can tell you right now, I'm going to get a hold of speed cinch and I'm going to find out how much these cost uh, for a bigger quantity, because why am I going to keep using the crappy metal stakes that make it almost impossible to cinch down a tent when I can get something like this, that one is more durable and two is made here in the US. It's something that I'm betting that if it fails, I can send it back and they'll send me a new one. So I'm gonna check them out as well. And if you wanna check them out on uh, Speed Cinch, uh, C I N C H dot com, and uh, I'm, I'm sure you can, you know, find what they have, but definitely, definitely check these places out. I mean, this, this is awesome. And then the other one for self reliance outfitters dot com. Uh, check them out and see what they have. I mean, you never know. You might find something on their site that just sparks your interest. And, you know, it's always good to help the American-made. You know, you hear everybody talk about how all we do is we keep sending all our jobs overseas and everything like this. And here you got probably entrepreneurs, you know, military vets who are out doing this stuff. Why not support them? Uh, I think it's, I think it overall, it's just a, it's just a great way to um, support American-made countries, or companies, not countries. Well, American-made countries, who knows? I'll put that in there. Um, so I can tell you I'm probably gonna upgrade to the advanced uh, membership. And like I said, the, the items that we don't use, or that I don't use here, I will be putting them into our giveaway bag that we're gonna be building here in the next month or so. And uh, so whoever wins that, it's gonna get some really cool stuff with it. Because I look at it and I'm just like, if I can't use it, I'm not gonna throw it in a corner or just you know throw it away. That makes no sense. There's always a group of people or somebody that can, you know, if they win a great bag, they can definitely, we can hook them up. So, but again, battlebox.com. I'm looking at a few of the other ones that are out there too. You got like Alpha Company. Um, there's a few other ones that do this as well. And if you have any, feel free to uh, go to the uh, Falcon Flyby Facebook page and shoot those to me. And uh, I will go ahead and give them a check. I mean, hey, it, it can't really hurt to get their introduction, you know, their basic box and see what comes in it. I mean, hell, I saw online they even do it for clothes. There's, there's a website that does the same kind of thing like this, but does it with clothes instead of tactical gear that we can use. Um, so I will, I'm hoping next month when I do this in July, you guys will see a broader spectrum. I'm looking forward to seeing what the July box holds. Um, it is kind of cool. You know, you never know what you're going to get in that next box. And again, it could be something that you don't need, something you do need. So, um, but definitely check out battle box and uh, see what they can do for you. And you never know what you might get. The other thing that I wanted to mention is um, the Kydex work schedule, since we are talking gear and such. Um, the last couple days I was not able to work on Kydex due to the in-laws being in, the wife's birthday. Um, my youngest had her first birthday party, so it's been a very busy uh, weekend from around, I would say, Wednesday of this past week till now. Um, we had some storms with some pretty heavy lightning coming in and out, so it wasn't really a good idea for me to out, be out there working with tools while I have a lightning storm going on. So with that said, tomorrow I will be back in the shop going full tilt, 110%. I have some individual orders that I need to finish off, and yes, I will be getting them all done tomorrow. So um, once I get them done, for the people that I'm working on, you will see photos come to you. I'm also thinking about just putting the camera on, doing a live feed. You guys can come in, you can watch. If I don't respond to your questions or anything, it's due to the fact that I can't see the screen because I am busy cutting something and I don't want to end up like this going to work the next day. So um, that's what we'll be doing for Kydex Wise. Uh, I will tell you that uh, June, uh, the weekend of June 15th, there will be a Saturday that I will not be in the shop because the wife and I will be out of town. 
So again, feel free to send messages all you want. Um, and you know, that way I can respond to your messages while I'm out and about, but I will not be working on orders because I try to keep my weekends for myself, which never happens. Um, so this is the time where you guys, yes, America made countries. America makes a lot of countries out there and we make countries. That's what it's all about here in America. We just want to make countries. So if you see us out there just in the middle of the water, doing whatever, we're making a country. That's how we work. Just look at Hawaii. They're a little behind the times. They take volcanoes, but we are making, Hawaii will soon be its own tropical country that the U.S. will be in charge of. So yes. Um... Some of the other things that we have going on here is the, um, we are doing a fundraiser. I knew there was something else. We're doing a fundraiser for the Lieutenant Mer uh, Michael Murphy Foundation, which for any of you guys that have saw, um, um, oh, now I'm just completely lost, but the story of Mark Luttrell, a uh, lone survivor, there it goes, um, Lieutenant Michael Murphy, was one of the seals that were killed during that operation red wing and so we are doing a fundraiser fkt now has their vinyl stickers and we sell them for five dollars they're on our website or on our facebook page so you can go to facebook uh to the falcon kydex website uh, facebook page and then go to our store and you'll see them it's in the new items next to all those really cool tack knives Ooh, blue that we sell um, but anyways, for every every time we sell one of those, we donate a dollar from that sale to the Lieutenant Michael Murphy Foundation, uh, which is a scholarship, and it's in his honor um, as a fallen seal from Operation uh, Red Wing. And so that's one of the things we're doing right now. So far, uh, we started this last week, but so far we have sold four stickers and raised four dollars. My goal is to I have fifty right now is to sell all fifty, raise fifty dollars, and once we sell all those i will go back to the gentleman who made our stickers and he was very quick very professional these are very nice um stickers and ask him to make a hundred so our goal at that point will to be to sell all a hundred of those and donate a hundred dollars and we will continue to do this throughout the rest of the year um and then once once all the stickers are sold what we'll do is i will we will make the donation from fkt but we will also present that information to you guys to show you that the don donation is made in your name because you're the ones that make it possible for us to be able to do things like this. So again, if you go to the Falcon Kydex Facebook page, go to the store, it's in the new items, you'll see our new sticker that we have. Um, and I'm gonna have them do a couple different designs as well. Um, but what we're gonna do is, like I said, when this first batch is sold, Completely. We're doing it through the whole month of June. My goal is every month we beat our our last fundraiser by fifty dollars. So that means we sell all fifty this month, get more, get a hundred in. We sell all hundred in July, hundred fifty in August, two hundred in September, and my next daughter Merida will be born in September. So we want to definitely make sure that we sell all two hundred in September. 250, 300, and so on down the line because we are going to, every time we sell those, we sell them out. All that money goes right to the Lieutenant Michael Murphy Foundation. And it's just a great program. I highly recommend that you guys go to their site. Um, you could probably search in, uh, if you go to Google, search Lieutenant Michael Murphy Foundation. I will make sure to put the link in the description for this video. But if you go there, um, they have a store, they have some patches. Um, that the money off those patches also goes towards the foundation. So, you know, I've looked at maybe doing a set of patches and then raffling those patches off and the money that is raised, we would take the money that it costs us to buy them, but the money that's raised off that raffle would then go to Lieutenant Michael Murphy Foundation. So again, check them out on Facebook. They're, it's a really good foundation and we're going to continue to do our best to support them in their mission. So that is one of the things that we have going on as well. The other thing going on is through the month of June, and I will be posting a new promotional code um, that we were doing our EDC kits at $25 left. And Jen is saying hi to herself. Okay, that's awesome. My wife is saying hi to herself. Um, and 
And what we do is, what was I talking about? Yes, we did our EDC kits and we normally sell those for $75 a piece. Um, we did that last month and we were selling them for $50 a piece. Um, so what we're going to be doing now for the month of June, since we are now uh, five days into the month of June, is we are going to be doing our range day kit, which is your holster and a double pistol mag uh, pouch. And we will be doing this kit, I believe, on the Facebook page. Andrew, if you're still there, can you go to the store page and tell me what the FKT range package is? Um, if he's still on, which he might be, I don't know. Um, he was on earlier. Um, however, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that at a 25% discount as well. So we take one of our bigger packages, one of our, our bigger end things, and we will have a promotional code for you um, if you just order that one particular package. Now, if you go and you want to order other things along with that, please contact us through PM talk to us, what we'll do is we make sure that the discount goes for that particular item um, and then we'll carry on as well. All Zert members automatically get a 15% discount. Um, all you gotta do is talk to me and I will send you the PayPal invoice which makes it simple. Instead of creating 1800 different promotional codes, uh, this way you guys, all you gotta do is contact me, send me your Zert call sign number um, or send me a picture of your card which in some cases works. Um, and I go one further. Uh, I know there's there's restrictions for ZERT members for like the pages that were on the official ZERT pages that you gotta be an active member. However, I will pass this discount on to um, past and present ZERT members. Uh, law enforcement automatically gets 15% off. Active duty, retired, veteran, military. Um, they all get 15% off, but no, you cannot stack discounts. You can't be active duty military and an active ZERT member and get 30% off. Pick one or the other. Um, and we do do that as well. So um, we do try to, yes, on the range day combo, $75 is what we charge for the range day combo. So we'll be doing the range day combo for this month only for $50. So it's actually a really good package. You figure our enforcer holsters run 45. Our double mag pouches run 30 to $35. And this is any print, um, unless it's a custom print. If you want sus something custom printed, you have to add $12 to that because that's what it costs us to get the print made. Um, so we don't make anything else extra off the custom print. We actually, you tell us what you want. If you have the picture, you email us the picture. I send it to our guy. He's like, yep, here it is. What do you think? I said, it looks great. He prints it off. And in most cases, we'll probably need two sheets because when we do a custom print, like I showed you guys last week of the Rap Team Raptors logo, um, for a pistol, for a holster, it's gonna take that whole sheet. Um, and for a mag pouch, uh, probably along the same lines, or we'd have them do multiple print, which would give us that 12 by 12 sheet, so you would have multi-print across. Um, do I have a Springfield XD 40 cal? Yes, I do. It's amazing some of the things I have. Even though I may not know it, it's out there in that shop. Um, so yes, I do have that. Um, some of the other things, uh, so like I was saying, if you, you wanna get in on that um, discount deal, just give us a holler, let us know, shoot us a PM, that's the quickest way to get a hold of us. Please do it on the business page. I know a lot of you guys, um, I'm friends with on my personal page. Um, so I don't have a problem talking to you, but you know, business-wise on the personal side. But for new people joining, um, what I highly recommend is that you go through the business page, you like our Facebook page, because that helps us. The more likes we have, the quicker we get to our, I think the um, the contest is set at, let me, uh, actually, let me check here. Um, we're doing a contest for the number of likes for the F FKT Facebook page. And matter of fact, I will tell you this right now. Um, so right now on the Falcon Kydex Facebook page, we are sitting at 1,678 likes. When we get to 2,000 likes, that's when we are going to do the following giveaway. And you can quote me on this. Holster, double mag pistol pouch, double mag rifle pouch. Any print, any color, 
That's what it is. So if we hit 2,000 likes, we will do a random drawing, and that will be the prize for the person. Um, is custom holster, double mag, double pistol mag pouch, and double rifle mag pouch. So that's what we need to do. So the goal is to get to 2,000 likes. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. I got 20 minutes before Game of Thrones, and I'm sure some of you are going to be joining me in that whole fiasco of Game of Thrones. Um, let's see. What, what else? So one of the things that have been going on around here, around my neighborhood lately, is uh, we get some yahoos from time to time who decide they want to break into people's houses and... Um, uh, and Gabby's going to Xbox. So we know where she's going. She'll be in the in the division. So if anybody wants to join up with her, go ahead, hit her up on the division and have fun. Um, so we have some yahoos around here, some special people. Sometimes the mental strength is very low or the bleach dumped into the gene pool was a significant amount with these individuals. And they are breaking into people's houses. Uh, we had an incident here just uh, this week where um, a person was getting the mail for a friend who was out of town and she actually walked into the house while the perpetrator was still in the house. So my message to you guys out there that tune into my show every week and put up with my babbling on for an hour is please make sure that when you walk out your door to go anywhere, you lock your house up. You know, you don't need to leave all the blinds wide open you know, it's it's not like it was in the 20s and 30s when our grandparents were growing up and in the 40s and 50s when our parents were growing up. Um, it's a different it's a different day and age. So please make sure your house is locked up. Make sure that if you have guns, uh, if you don't have a safe, put trigger locks on. Them. Um, keep the ammo and the guns completely separate from one another. If you do have a safe, keep your guns in a safe and locked up if you're not in the house. Um, write your serial numbers down or take pictures of them so that way you have them on a flash drive. Get yourself a safe box and hide that thing like it's no tomorrow and leave yourself little mental notes so you'll be able to find it later. But take pictures of your valuables, your TVs, your DVD players, your VCR, whatever it is, electronics. Every electronic, no matter what it is, comes with a serial number on the back side of it. Take a picture of that. When the cops come to take your police report, guess what? You have all that. When you go to send your claim to the insurance company, you have all that information. You have it right there. It's also something you can turn into the pawn shops in your area. Because most of these people, when they come to steal this valuable stuff, they're just trying to make a quick buck. And they're going to be like, well, I, I bet I could get 100 bucks for this. They don't care as long as they can make some money off it. So if you have all those numbers and something gets stolen, like in my area, I think I have one, maybe two pawn shops here and in, in, uh, where we live here in Georgia. I would take that list. I would print it out and say, if anybody comes in with the following items, here are the serial numbers and pictures of the items, please call me. So that way, if somebody does, they can call me or they can call the police because now they know who's trying to sell it. And it's a good way to keep your valuables safe and secure. So if you're going out of town, talk to a buddy that'll drive by your house and stop by, pick up the mail, make sure everything is locked and does a full walk around to your house. Because with the way things are nowadays, you can never be too sure what's going on. So that's my, that's my safety, that's my safety tidbit for, for this episode. Um, but I will tell you there, there are some new things coming down the line. Um, and I'm, oh yes, Last Man Standing. I watch that show religiously. Um, and the fact that he does his little vlog, video blog. This is kind of like my video log that you guys all show up to once a week and shower me with praise because I'm just passing such great information out to you guys. I do appreciate it. It makes me feel good deep, deep down in the cockles of my heart. I thank you. Um... But over the next over the next couple weeks, the next couple episodes, I'm gonna have a section in there that yeah, see, I saw a smiley face. That's awesome. I've seen thumbs up hearts. I've seen smiley faces. That's awesome. 
So in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be kind of carving out a section of the, of the broadcast where we talk about being prepared. And I'm not talking about, oh, I have batteries for my flashlights. Or, oh, I have this shotgun that my great-great-grandfather who got it from some dude from the Revolutionary War gave it to me. So I'm good. I'm prepared. We're talking about truly being prepared in the face of an emergency. By no way am I a subject matter expert in this. I will tell you that right now. However, I have learned a lot being in different parts of the country. In Michigan, I knew it was important during the wintertime to make sure both the cars were full, to get, full of gas. And the gas can that we had that we used for the lawnmowers, which was a five-gallon can, was also full. Why? If there's a blizzard that hits, how in the world am I going to get to a gas station? Nine times out of ten, the gas station is shut down. I also learned in the state of Michigan, when there's a blizzard, you always make sure that when you go grocery shopping, you always buy redundancy. You always make sure you have a couple gallons of water. You always make sure that you have more canned goods than you actually need. Why? Because a canned good doesn't require to be heated to eat it, and it doesn't require to be cold when you store it. So if shit really hit the fan, I could open up a can of peas, and I'm good. You also want to make sure if you have a daughter or kids, little kids, that you have enough on hand baby food formula, what may not, might have you, so that way they're taken care of too, because it's not just about you. It's about everybody in your home. So those are just the little tidbits from Michigan. When I moved out to the Pacific Northwest, what did I have to worry about? Well, to be honest with you, I live 45 minutes away from an active volcano. Yes, believe it or not, Mount, Mount Rainier is active. It just hasn't blown its top yet, but it is due. So what my plan was, was to get the hell out of Dodge as quickly as I possibly could. That's why I joined Zerd out there and I learned how to set up and how we set up a bivouac site out there. So if we had the meat, we could get out of there in enough time and set up a place so we're ready to weather the incoming disaster. Here in the Southeast, we have everything from potential of snow to hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, you name it. So I have to make sure if the power goes out here that I have enough water for not only myself, but the other five people that are right now physically in the home on top of food, survival supplies, and anything else we need just in case the shit hits the fan. So with that being said, starting next week, we are going to have a 20 minute session that will be in here called being prepared and we will talk about all the different things that we can do to be prepared yes i have an xdm i actually have the airsoft version model of it as well so and they're the same spec we makes them actually bigger than the actual spec so like i said that is going to be a new portion of our show and i think it's going to be a benefit to everybody um, I'm going to do my research on certain topics and like i said i'm no way a subject matter expert but i have learned over time and I have done my research, I have read the books, I have looked at just about almost every site that I can find um, and what all the experts say, you know, we've seen the shows on the Discovery Channel, National Geographic, and so what if the world ended today or what if no humans were on the planet? Um, so, you know, I do, I do take that stuff very seriously and, and I hope everybody else out there that tunes into my broadcast every week does too because Around here, it seems it's a sense of, you know, if it doesn't happen to me, I'm not concerned. Well, you're going to be the one knocking on my door when the shit hits the fan and asking me if I have food and water and supplies. And I'll say, yeah, I do, but I'm not welcoming you into my home. So I would suggest you learn how to do this stuff. You know, simple things. Get a Boy Scout. Uh, they have a guidebook that's actually called the Outdoorman's Guide. Um, when I was in Boy Scouts, I'm sure they still have it. But in that book, it's like a field manual. It literally will teach you how to um, set up temporary shelters, how to tie knots, how to uh, purify water, what plants are good to eat and what plants aren't. I'm not saying the apocalypse is going to hit any day now, but I'm just saying it's always good to have that knowledge in the back of your mind. You never know when you're going to get stranded somewhere. You never know when you're going to get lost in the woods. You could have the best technology in the world. And all of a sudden, it just got lost because, oops, you fell down uh, in face of a, of a hill or something and you lost your stuff or it broke. 
So knowing a little bit of this stuff is good for everybody. And believe it or not, um, the, uh, what is it? The Zombies Guide to the Apocalypse or something like that. That zombie guide that um, is by the same author that wrote um, World War Z. And uh, um, I'm pretty sure Andrew probably knows that as well too. I just don't have it sitting in front of me. A uh, zombie survival guide. That's what it is. Um, believe it or not, there's some really good information in there. And uh, you should read up on some of that. A lot of stuff you can find online. Uh, AWS, exactly. Um, Advanced Wilderness, uh, Wilderness Life Support. Uh, when my wife and I were still living in Michigan, that is one of the classes we took. And it was very informative. I mean, you learn a lot. Um, get yourself, if you don't already have one, one of those life straws and put it in your, um, in your case. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, Andrew's responding to the thing about the book. But in that book, there's there's a lot of good information that you can use in present day. And if any of you that watch this know anything about Zert, just because it has zombie in the title, um, that zombie means anything. Natural disaster, man-made event, um, the government collapses, the economy falls and crashes. Just, you know, it covers everything. So it's that bulk of training that is meant there to to assist and help you be prepared it's not oh zombies they think zombies are coming in. you know you just walk around any bernie sanders event and you'll see zombies all over the place um anyways um and you can also get army field manuals marine corps handbooks i mean it's all out there it's it's digital format it's pdf and what i would recommend is when the shit hits the fan probably your phone computer and things like that won't work print off a copy that way you have it. Everybody thinks print's dead. No, it's not dead. For this kind of stuff, print off a copy, put it in a binder. It's not a bad thing to have that information if you need it. And the damn games on Facebook kept sliding across. So, as of this time, I'm looking at 852 on my sundial. 2052 for you military folks. 852 for you uh, civilians out there. And... I am going to call this a uh, good broadcast in the books. I know it's a little different being on a sun on a Sunday instead of Saturday as normal. Um, but hey, just think of me starting out your week with some good information that you can carry all week long and help you throughout your week. Um, I'm just like that neat old army can opener they used to put in sea rats. I never quite go away because I always have a use. I'm like the little elf in your pocket. And that's just weird. So again, for uh, the Falcon Flyby, this is Doc, FKT, Falcon Battle Systems, LLC, saying, have a good one, enjoy your week, be safe, and always know your surroundings. Have a good one.